All right, some hot spots. So what I did, I took some of my palette colors over here and kind of hit it every once in a while as far as the hot spot. So right there on the blade, on the little on the jewels, I did that. And that's kind of what I really want to do is grab some of these colors over here. And I want to be able to maybe manipulate these in some way so they have a little bit of a darker tone to them. So I can take black and make a new layer and just kind of quickly go over the top of these. Now some of them are on the top, some are on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is put this on the very top layer and then I'm going to tone it down. Thereby tinting all the colors. Okay, now that I have the tints, I can grab some of this green here. And just kind of fill in some of these on the bottom side because we do we do have different kind of inks you know we can mix some black with just about any color to darken it up but what we mainly do is do shading using lines so I'm only going to use this sparingly I'm not going to put it in there a whole bunch of times might make one line and I do like to make it super contrasty so nothing blends together. It's just one continued color going on to another color. And you can almost see the line transition between the two. I'm just glad that a tattoo gun doesn't have 24 U levels of pressure because, boy, I'm in trouble. All right, so here's my red, too. So if I wanted to darken that up, I could. And it really doesn't matter what layer that you put this on. In this case, I can blend this a little bit. So let's see what I got as far as the blender goes. I have a kneaded eraser, a blender with texture, and I got a mover. So if I did a blender, it's going to kind of blend those colors together. But let's see what we can do with this tool. Let's go into the brushes and see if there's something like on scatter, maybe. So if I have it on scatter, look what happens. So right, it scatters the two colors together and it blends it. Okay, so that's a little tip. So all I'll do is go back, grab this color again, put a little bit right here. Then go back to my tool, kind of hit that, and it'll blend it right through. You know, I could do that throughout the whole thing, is just sit here and blend it to death. You probably don't want to do that because you want to keep some stuff very super contrasty. But what I would do is try stuff out on a new layer. So don't don't do this on your original. But I would say, you know, here on the flower, let's take, for example, this pink. You know, I could go in here and kind of blend this together. But it's going to get, like, kind of a watercolor look. And that's something that you, you can't kind of produce very easily with a tack gun. But let's just say you're doing this for a design. You know, it's a pretty, pretty cool effect. Just like that. And then anything that might have got left over, you can hit. 
and it gives it just a softer look. If you choose not to do that, that's fine. You can always use this as a soft light layer and you get a medium between the two. I'm still not too convinced about the whole yellow dagger through it. I kind of like that, but I almost want to add something to it. It looks almost like He-Man sword. That's what I'm thinking. He-Man sword all the way. And if you don't know what He-Man is, it's this crappy uh, cartoon that was back in my day. Uh, He-Man and the Power of Grayskull or whatever it was. Whew, man, that sucked. Yeah, much better than the cartoons we got today for kids, though. All right, so if I want that yellow out of here, you know, I can basically concept it a little bit. I could take all the colors. Let's say I take these colors right here and I do an image adjustment uh, color balance. And let's say I play around with the whole idea that, you know, that, that color stinks. And if I just play around with these a little bit, maybe I can come up with a better color scheme. And if I don't like that, I can go into the highlights and work with those a little bit. Ooh, now that's freaking sweet. Okay, now I like everything but the red. I, you know, the red, I like the color of the blade itself. I don't like the heart now. But guess what I did? I made that into a different layer. That's right. See? Do, 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 do. So if I wanted to, I could erase back this layer and get my original red back. And if I was very lazy, which, you know, sometimes I can be, I can go back to normal and go select color range and I could select this purple, lower it down a little bit, hit OK, hit delete, turn this back to a soft light layer. There we go. I got to keep all my reds and now I have this, this greenish yellow sword type deal. So those are just little tricks I've learned along the way. You know, you can you can tweak and manipulate color and oh man, you can do so much that you just can't do uh if you if you're just going right at it. The concept like this is amazing. All right, so let me clean some of this up. What I want to do now is go through these layers and flatten them all, and I'll do that in the next video.